throughout the course of this offseason, I've hopped on here many times to complain about a player that the Mets should have got. And I was hoping that with spring training kind of getting started now that that was going to stop happening. But this one was really bad as Jeremy Jeffries has signed a minor league contract with the Washington Nationals. In this video, I'm going to rage, not even going to react to this signing because I just don't understand how the Mets could not have done this move. This one was on a silver platter for you. You need another reliever. Jeremy Jeffries has some upside. He has some inconsistency. But on a minor league contract at that low of a value for the contract, how can you not do that? If you like this video seeing me rage make sure i leave a like comment down below what are your thoughts on the jeffrey signing and what are the mets going to do now because like are they even going to get a bullpen arm because if you don't do this i mean these other guys they're going to cost more than that i mean there's no way that you can get tyler clippard or shane green or david robinson a little cheaper than that you can't get cheaper than what jeffrey's got and if you're new here want to make me feel a little better make sure to subscribe of all the relievers left on the free agent market jeffrey's was the guy that stood out because he had the most upside after having a 154 era in 20 2020 and we look at through his career i know i always say that he has good year bad year but i mean in 2018 the guy was an all-star so if he's asking for that little if he's willing to accept that i just don't understand why you wouldn't do that for me I would rather give Jeremy Jeffries a chance than trust the Drew Smith and these other minor league relievers because these guys have not done it on the big league level. At least Jeffries had done on the big league level and very recently. Even when the Mets had Lugo, I wasn't in love with the bullpen. I was like, okay, you're still going to rely a lot on Batanzas, on Familia, on Gazelman, and these other minor league relievers. And I'm just not crazy about that because to me, as a Mets fan, if you go back to 2015, speaking of Tyler Clipper, that's a perfect example, there is nothing worse to me when you have a lead late and you feel like you got the game in the bag we're gonna win this this is a big win for the team and then the bullpen blows it at the end and the Mets have done that countless times since 2015 all the time it happens and it is so frustrating every time and now that you have this big injury to Seth Lugo your most important reliever you're not gonna do anything about it you're just gonna be like oh yeah all the guys we have in the minor leagues they're gonna step up and fill in for Seth freaking Lugo are you kidding me if Jeffrey's got like Roosevelt got 11 million whatever I would say okay that's a lot of money for a guy that's been inconsistent if Jeffrey's wanted to be a closer I would say okay a lot of people want to be the closer role you can't do it with Mariano slash Edwin Diaz whatever but that wasn't the case it wasn't a lot of money it wasn't because of the close role because they already stole brad hand from you when because he won the closer role i'm still pissed off they didn't get brad hand i wanted him so bad and it's just like this stuff keeps happening and i really thought that with this new ownership stuff like this doesn't happen anymore tie on walker is nice but if walker gives you a good start and then the same thing this team freaking blows all the work that he just did it's pointless again I i'm just very aggravated because i feel like you can't beat this out it's not like okay we're not getting jeffries but we'll get this guy instead and and it's much better. No, th that's not the case. I mean, you're not going to get a better contract than that. I mean, it's a minor league deal, $1.25 million if he makes the team, and then he could earn an extra $1.25 million in incentives. And the Mets, like, you're under the tax. You're 13 to 15 million under the tax. Now you can't resign Lindor Conforto because you gave 1.25 million to Jeremy Jeffries. Get the heck out of here. That's a bunch of crap. I just don't get it. You know, we talk about not being a drunk and say, well, look at what the Dodgers are doing. The Dodgers just spend money left and right, go way over the tax, and we're still looking like a team that, oh, we can't cross that line. Oh, no. I, I just don't want to see that anymore. I mean, this was on the platter for you. This was such a gimme. This is like an automatic pull the trigger. I just don't get it. All I know is that if the Mets do not sign one of these major league relievers, somebody like a Clippert or a Shane Green or a David Robinson, these minor league guys, the Drew Smith and such, better freaking step up. Like, these guys better be reliable, consistent, durable. Like, they can't be blowing leads. If I see the Mets having these big games, Lindor looks great, and you get a good start out of Showman and all this other stuff, and McCann looks great behind the plate, and the bullpen Batances at familiar, these guys blow it at the end, I'm going to be pissed because all this work is ruined. You wasted all this hard work. I mean, the fact that you let Justin Wilson go to the Yankees, that was a big time problem. So I, I just don't understand it. I think that, again, the way baseball is played now, bullpens are so important. How do you think Tampa Bay got to the World Series? I mean, do you think Tampa had a good bullpen? Uh, Yeah, they would always be in a rush to use their bullpen. I mean, that's how they got there. It is so important in the modern game. And it doesn't look like it's that important for the Mets because you want to give me Tommy Hunter? He's not Jeremy Jeffries. You want to give me Mike Montgomery, Stephen Tarpley, Jerry Blevins. Those guys aren't Justin Wilson. I mean, they're two separate leagues. Like, literally, major league player in Justin Wilson, minor league player Stephen Tarpley. 
sharply. That's been the Mets philosophy with the bullpen, and I just don't like it. If you get a bunch, I'd rather have one good guy than a bunch of crappy guys. It just does, it's not a good philosophy to me. I mean, maybe I'm just overreacting, but I just don't understand how you don't do this. And once again, once again, division rivals. So when Jeremy Jeffries is shutting you down, and then Brad Hand is shutting you down, you should be like, oh, maybe we should have anointed Edwin Diaz so quickly. Maybe we should have given Jeremy Jeffries, I don't know, two million and a major league contract to be at the Nationals offer. So I just hope that this really doesn't come back to bite the Mets in the butt because I feel like it will. I just have that funny, funny feeling. Like, again, I, it was just too automatic. I can't even think of one little reason why you don't do this and why Jeffries won't do it because you can't give me the closer roll garbage anymore. That's out the window. Minor league contract, what are you going to do? You want to be the closer so badly? You want to close out games for the minor league team? I mean, give me a break. So... Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Until the next one, be safe, be smarter than the Mets, be healthy, and let's go Mets. Stop being stupid.